Let's write a C program to find all the prime numbers between two integer numbers input by the user. Well, prime number is a natural number greater than 1, which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. An example of prime number is number 7, because number 7 is perfectly divisible by only by 1 and 7. No other numbers perfectly divide 7. So number 7 is a prime number. In this program, we ask user to input two numbers, that is start value and end value. In this case, if start value is 10 and end value is 50, our program prints all the prime numbers in between 10 and 50. Okay, before going further, please visit the links present on your computer screen right now. We have videos there. So visit all these things and you will know the logic um, more, more accurately. This program will be much more easier to understand if you go through these three programs, these three links displayed on your computer screen. Okay, I'll take variables start and end to store start and end values input by the user, count uh, to keep track of while loop, flag to check if the selected number is prime number or not, inum if you have already visited the link I showed you previously, you know why we use inum. You will know you will also know about it in this program itself. So I'll ask the user to enter start and end value and store it inside the address of variables start and end. Now we'll directly start with while loop. While this start value is less than or equal to end value, this while loop keeps on iterating and for each iteration we increment the value of start by one. So outer loop selects a number and it will be stored inside variable start. So here inside nested that is inner while loop, we check if the number selected by start is a prime number or not. So to reduce the number of iterations of inner while loop, we use this logic that is square root of start. Well, SQRT is present inside a library uh, file that is math.h. So we include it in our C program. So here we can iterate only until count is less than or equal to inum. That's enough to check if the selected number which is present in variable start is prime number or not. So we will initialize the variable count to two because every number is divisible by one. So we start with two. We will assign flag value as one. So if start modulo division count is equal to zero, then the value present inside start is not a prime number. So we assign flag value is equal to zero and break out of the inner while loop. Okay, we'll increment the value of count here. So after the inner while loop, we check if flag value is equal to one. We can even write just flag. That means flag is equal to one. If flag value is still one, then that number which is present in start is a prime number and we display it onto the console window. That's it. We'll just uh, insert some new line character here to make it look neat. Here I'll print a message that I'll include some new line characters here. So I'll include a message prime numbers from percentage %d to percentage %dr. So the values are present inside start and end value. That's it. Let's compile this program and see. Let me execute. So I'll give 50 and 100. So it must print all the prime numbers between 50 and 100. And it's working. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. We have explained the logic in detail there. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video without fail. And also please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.